Let me let you into just a little secret. There's been so many times when I'm out in my personal endeavors where guys will come up to me and they think it's a great time to actually introduce themselves and think that they could build a form of attraction. And you know what? There has been so many awkward situations where a guy has just not understood the whole vibe. They don't understand my body language and they approach me when they really shouldn't. And then there's been times where I have tried to make it known that I want a guy to approach me. He gets really anxious and then he doesn't and it makes me think oh okay missed opportunity but if you are interested to get 20 easy ways to successfully approach a lady well then stay tuned Tip number one, you have to assess her environment and also her actions. Very easy to do. If a girl is busy talking on the phone, then this is pretty easy to know that she's busy. She does not want to be approached. If she's wearing a wedding ring, again, we should know that you shouldn't be approaching her. However, if she's reading a book and she's very into it, you might not want to approach her unless you notice she's looking up and around. Plus, is this a great situation if she's acting stressed? Do not walk over because you most definitely can ruin a good thing by just coming over at the wrong time. Get her to notice you. So instead of you approaching her without her expecting it, you wanna be making this connection mutual. If you've noticed she isn't stressed, she's not overwhelmed, she's not busy reading a book, she's in a situation that's generally displaying open body language, then go and put yourself in her direct line of sight. You want her to notice you. Otherwise, if you just approach her without her expecting it, from a girl's perspective, it's kind of predatory and it's a little bit rude as you just kind of, you know, forced yourself into her personal space without assessing if you are actually invited. So if you notice she looks up at you many times, you know that she is happy for you to approach her. Assess her body language and wait for the eye contact. The eyes are the invitation to approaching. So if you see a glance, this is an indication that she's just noticed you. If you get a second glance, maybe that's okay. She's also willing for you to come over. However, if you get a third glance and a smile, you definitely know she is interested and she's basically said, hey, come over, everything's going okay. The trick is you want to make her feel comfortable around you. Otherwise, if she doesn't feel comfortable, she will just automatically assume that you are a player and yeah, you're not going to go anywhere with her. So we all know how awkward it really is to get caught gazing at someone. Okay, we understand. No matter if it's on purpose or by an accident, when we glance eyes, we're like, oh gosh, now they think I'm a weirdo. But the third time it happens, it's obvious there's a little bit of attraction there. So make sure you give her a smile so that she knows you are interested. And as soon as you crack that smile, she is most definitely aware of your intentions and she will make it known whether she wants you to come over or if she stops staring and immediately shuts you down, the situation is sadly over. Approach her from the side or in front. Going behind her, it's a little bit weird. If she can see you walking over, it allows her to mentally prepare. However, if you grab her from behind, it's more of a startling decision and it's gonna make us want to back off and to protect ourselves. I mean, just think about the times you see someone's hand on a shoulder in a scary movie. We kind of expect the worst. Remember that those first impressions are powerful and yes, you can change the initial impression. But if the first time that you introduce yourself to a girl is from you desperately approaching her whilst her back is turned, you come across just a little bit creepy and we would feel very cautious about dating you. Walk over with a smile. So this is ensuring that you are walking over and she can see you and you guys have both had that eye contact and you have smiled at each other. Even if you get a little shy at this point, we love it. We respect when a guy feels uncomfortable but still continues to do what he needs to do. It shows you have emotions and you are not afraid to embrace them. So naturally, we assume you have a high emotional intelligence, which we find attractive. And smiling diffuses a lot of those negative emotions it's going to feel awkward for both of you when you kind of have that slow motion walk up towards each other so try to reinforce those positive feelings with a smile and it's simple to do and it's just so attractive when we see a guy smile from experience i once met a guy on our first date at the door of a restaurant and he didn't smile when he greeted me 
He looked a little shy, which was fine, and then looked away straight away and then said, hi, you look great. I just didn't really feel invited. It was a bit of an unwanted situation and that first impression made me hurry up and get myself out of the restaurant. Do not stand too close to her. So many guys get this wrong. Guys assume that if there's an attraction between two people that it's okay to stick in her personal circle and this is the wrong way to do it. You've come over, you've earned that trust, you've put yourself into her personal space so now you need to respect this and you just back off just a little. Even if you guys are joking and getting on like wildfire, maintaining that boundary of physical distance distance is brilliant. It makes us feel comfortable. If you notice she's crossing her arms and crossing her legs and she's pointing her torso away from you, this means you are coming across a little too invasive. Please do not touch her. Save the touching until the first kiss or moments before when you are trying to set the mood. Guys assume that after they have walked over and introduced themselves that it's the best time to ramp up the flirting and start the, the touching and the grooming when really it is not a good time. You still need to be making her feel comfortable so maintain your personal space and as a rule of thumb do not start touching her until she does it first and then if that happens only do it every so often. I see so many guys approach women at a bar and things look great, but he closes in that distance between them both. And then he tries to touch, say, her lower back, put his hand on top of her leg, or does this thing like this and leans and looks at her. And I see the girl close up and at that moment he's ruined his chance. Touch is a sexual gesture and should only be used when you really know she is interested in you and that she feels comfortable with you. So in short, the more that you touch her early on, the more likely she will think you are a player, the less likely she will give you her number. Avoid complimenting her appearance and giving her a compliment that has a sexual intention. If you are approaching girls for just hookups, you can use those sexual words such as, wow, you are hot. But if you prefer a long-term type of thing, complimenting her with the words beautiful and brilliant, these are some words that have a lot of substance behind them, which will help her to consider dating you. Then you need to find something in common as soon as possible. Build a connection immediately so she feels that you approaching her was worthwhile. Remember, women want to date people that they have a connection with, otherwise the relationship becomes boring very, very quickly. And make sure you have those meaningful conversations. And you probably think this is a little bit irrelevant as you can have those talks when you get her number and you know for sure that she's interested. But instead, you wanna be showing that you are a genuine person and that you have a connection as soon as possible because as soon as she walks away after the number exchange, if you get that far, she still needs to consider if you are a good catch and if she is curious enough to get to know you more. And whatever you guys talked about, is going to be playing over and over in her head later on. So you want to give her a sneak peek into the life of dating you. So if she knows that you are a gentleman and that you wanted to get to know her more, this is a great sign. Plus, you can use those conversations at a later date. Don't be arrogant. Don't act like you know you are going to wow the pants off us. Women hate it when someone walks over who knows they are attractive and they expect nothing less than swooning from the lady. Be humble and respectable and don't assume that you have this power over her just because you walked over. She can turn you down. Choose a safe environment. Make things so much more comfortable for yourself by only approaching ladies when you are in an environment or in a space that you actually value. If you ended up tagging along with some friends to a nightclub, and this is a one-off for you because nights filled with alcohol really are not your thing, then rethink about approaching a girl at a nightclub because you need to make sure that you are approaching someone that you are willing to date that also values your own interests and it goes without saying because if you ended up dating the nightclub girl she might always be wanting to invite you out to nightclubs make her laugh diffuse that awkwardness with some humor no matter if it's cringy dad jokes letting her know you are not this serious person puts her at ease and the more comfortable she is around you the quicker chances and the better chances you have in getting that phone number exchange and things will go in your favor 
you have to watch your body language. We've spoken about hers, but you need to hold yourself as this confident, calm and relaxed person. So drop those shoulders, open up the chest, because she will be assessing your body language and trying to figure out how you are feeling when you are talking to her. So if you come across just like how a friend would, very relaxed and unnerved, this is going to calm her, making her more likely to want to get to know you. And obviously it builds a nice bit of attraction if she knows that you are a confident person. Ask some open-ended questions and make sure you listen back to the things that she says. Make sure you generally are interested in what she has to say. So giving her this direct attention makes her value you and consider you to be great boyfriend material. And if you are short of what questions you can ask your crush, we have lots of ideas in our channel. Make sure you stay mysterious about yourself. She's going to ask you questions undoubtedly and this is your chance to explain just a little bit of who you are but not too much. Do not offload your life story, do not bring up your ex-girlfriend and don't talk about how boring your job is. Feel free to humbly brag about your successes such as you've worked at a company for the past five years and now you are quite high up in the company and you have your own company car and some great benefits. That's just enough but don't keep bragging about your achievements because because that will lessen your attractiveness. Do not linger around. So provided you followed all of these steps and she is interested, you wanna be cutting that conversation kind of short. That way it leaves her wanting more from you. So if you end up just standing there chatting for 30 minutes, it can get a little bit boring and a little bit awkward and it ruins the fun. So when things start going great between you both, that is when you initiate the actual goodbye. And that is when you ask to stay in touch. And at this point, it's, it's gonna be pretty easy if she's interested or not. But keep in mind, you still haven't bagged her full stamp of approval. So maintain those gentleman ways and tell her that it's been great chatting and that you really want to get to know her a little bit better. And if she would like to keep in touch, you're willing to offer your mobile phone number, which you should always offer your phone number first or offer a social media username. Some people find it a little bit too personal giving out their phone numbers nowadays, so social media handles are a great alternative. And then you tell her that you will wait for her to contact you and put the ball in your court. Now, so many guys get desperate at waiting for her reply that they end up messaging first and then messaging, often in a sign of desperation. So let her know that you are kind and respectful and she should only contact you if she really wants to. Now, this is a great way to stand out from every other guy out there because it makes her perceive you as high value because you're saying, hey, you contact me me. I'm not too attached to the outcome. I will just accept how it is. Okay, do not obsess over that reply. Play it cool. So you've seen the notification. She's followed you back, say on Instagram, and there's a pending message request. Now, yes, brilliant, but don't reply straight away. Give it two to three days if you can. And it shows that you are interested by not waiting too long, but you are not desperate by coming on too strong. And in that time, please don't upload to social media because she is gonna be checking your social media potentially maybe twice a day. And if she sees that you have uploaded something and not replied to her message, she knows that you are ignoring her. How to reply. So the ball is in your court and it's time to continue raising your value and building attraction. So reach out and you can say, hi, her name. It was lovely to meet you the other day. I really hope, insert something relevant to the conversation, just in case you forgot who I am. I am your name. That person who, insert something funny about you that she can relate to. This is going to look like, hey Anna, it was lovely to meet you the other day. I hope your car passes MOT. Just in case you forgot who I am, my name's James. I am the guy who got pooped on by a pigeon the moment I walked over to you. Then let there be a back and forth exchange for a couple of texts and roughly around that fourth text, you ask her out on a date. You simply ask, when are you free to get together? And then maybe add something quirky such as, please can you bring an umbrella with you to shade me from future pigeon attacks. Remember, asking for that date text message is a little awkward, so you can diffuse it with a little bit of humour, which she will greatly appreciate. 